Hello there everyone, this is Anton Duos here and today I'm going to be doing What if Deku had the powers of Neptune, the god of sea? And if you're wondering why I'm starting a new series, this is the, uh, the 668 subscriber special. Since I checked my subscriber count and I got more than less than. So thank you everyone for 668 subscribers. So we're going to start off. Uh... At an ordinary day, at an ordinary day in UA, Isuku Madoria was looking at the ocean, crying, why me? I haven't done anything to be like that, as we just go back a few hours back. Isuku was in class, he was trying to, he was trying to speak with everyone in class, but they, but they didn't like Isuku, because he was useless, they knew that, uh, I'm gonna pause real quick. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah. Isuku was wondering why nobody wanted to talk to him. Like I was saying, Isu they knew they think that Isuku was useless. He didn't even have good control over his quirk. So, they <coughs> didn't like him. So, they started to call him a quirkless loser like Bakugo. Uh, a few moments later, a few moments later, Isuku, Isuku got a call from All Might, saying, Young Midoriya, can we speak? Deku agreed with this, and then waited until after class. As Isuku went to the All Might's office and was talking to All Might, as he said, So what do you need, All Might? As All Might said, Young Midoriya, may I have my quirk back? As All Might asks, why, why do you need the quirk back? Uh, then All Might says, I'm having, I'm getting, um, I want my quirk back because you are, you have no control over one for all. So, I found a better user for one for all. His name is Miro. And if you, I'm not giving him, uh, I'm giving him, I'm giving Miro one for all instead of Bakugo. The reason why? I hate Bakugo. <laughs> A simple reason. Nobody likes Bakugo. And if you do like Bakugo, I'm <coughs> sorry. I don't like him. And I never will. So, so I'm going to continue. So, we're going to continue. Isuku, being the nice person he always is, he decided to just give one for all back to Isuku. Okay. As he gave one for all back to Isuku. No. To All my, All my said, thank you, young Midoriya. You just helped the world find a better peace, peace symbol. Now, Sisuku said in his head, peace symbol, my face. Giving, t speaking in a darker tone, an anger tone. As All my said, what did you just say? As Sisuku went back to his happy tone, hiding his true self. As he said, uh, nothing, All my. Then All my just left. And mumble something. Finally, I got rid of that worthless kid. As if you guys hear the background noise, I'm sorry. As Izuku heard this and was like, "So even though I think I'm useless, <coughs> nobody in this world will ever treat me like something that I am, right?" Before I continue, I am not picking the ship. <laughs> For a person with this type of power. What type of ship am I going to pick? I can create my own character, but I'm gonna ask if any of you guys rep if any of you guys have a ship that you want me to put, just type it in the comments or or just say in the comments that you just want me to give him a ship like a goddess ship. I'll just find something and find like a girl that is powerful enough to be with him. So if any of you have a ship for him, then say in the comments. So yeah. Isuku, Isuku left. Isuku left Oma's office feeling sad as he went back to class, showing a sad face, but no one cared about him. Isuku, instead of going to the dorms, he went to the beach where he always looked at the ocean feeling calm because in this what if his mother died. And, and, Isuku, and this is where Isuku and his mother used to spend their time. 
Then, then we go back to present time, where Isuku is sitting on the beach, yelling, "Why do I have? Why do I have to be so weak? Why me?" Uh, then, when Isuku said that out loud, a huge wave was forming. As he grabbed Isuku, bringing him into the ocean, as Isuku was drowning, as then he said, "Well." At least I'm going to see mom again, smiling. I see those were his last words until someone grabbed him and brought him into an underwater castle where there was actually air. <coughs> as Isuku started to breathe again, just as he started to dream of a man with a long white beard and a crown saying, <coughs> time to get up, time to get up. Then when he woke up from the dream, he started to sweat, cold, cold sweat, be having like a hard moment to look around. As he regained his consciousness and looked and saw that he was in an underwater castle because he saw fish moving. As Isuku just said, "Ah, what can surprise me now? Everything in the everything here in this world has powers, so I might as well be someone I can breathe underwater." As Isuku saw someone coming in, a man with the same color, the same color beard and hair, and the crown on his head, that was in Isuku's in Isuku's mindscape, came to his room, to the room, and said, "Well, kid, you're finally up." Then Isuku said, "So what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be?" Wait a minute. You look familiar, as he as he started to remember someone from a mythical mythological creek that he read in books, as he said, the three powerful gods, Neptune, Zeus, and someone else, but I forgot who it was. As he said, aren't you Neptune? <coughs> uh, then he said, Neptune said, well, yes, I am. As he summoned the Triton. When Isuku saw that, he was like, uh, 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 uh. As he started to scream, running everywhere, up and down. As then he said, "You're supposed to be dead. Are you a mythologic? Are you mythologic?" Then Zeus, then Neptune said, "Calm down, calm down. It's not real. People think I die, but I, I'm part of the water. Man, I'm a god. So how am I supposed to die?" As Isuku said. Fair point. Fair point. Fair point. So, now what in the hell do you want with me? Then Zeus said. Then Neptune says, "Watch your tone." Then Isuku says, "Yes, sir." Getting scared because he's in front of a god. He can literally end his life whenever he wants to. As Neptune, as Neptune said, "Let me. I'm gonna ask you something. Why didn't you run away from the wave?" As oh my god. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Somebody decided to pop out of nowhere, and if you guys heard that, don't worry about that. As Isuku said, explain his life to Neptune. You know the bullying, all the scars. As he took his shirt off and showed Neptune all the scars that he got over his over the years of his life, living on, living with his mother, and he explained that his mother died once he reached, uh. Let's say seventeen. I wanna. I wanna be his second. No, I. I wanna say sixteen. I want his second to third year to be when he's older. I'm gonna pause real. Stop about. Ah, oh, I really don't like people be pranking me with text messages. I'm sorry about that. Then Isuku explained that everything about his life. He told that his mother died when he was sixteen. And he's still sixteen. Then, then, then Neptune said, "Okay, kid, I got a deal for you. How about we? How about I gave you my power?" Then Neptune asked, "What do you mean? My, what do you mean, give me your power?" As Neptune explained that he can make a copy of his power, and if he proves his worth to the gods on the on the upper world. 
he, he can become the next god of seed. As Izuku had it a hard time to believe this, as Neptune showed him a picture, a contract that all the gods said that if, that they, if they find someone that they think it's worth of keeping their of keep of getting their throne, they'll have to get a copy of the past owner's power. And Neptune said, "I choose you of being my of being my person to take my throne." But that will be when I get old. That will be when I die. And since you're taking my immortality, that'll only be that'll only be seventy years from now, and you'll be alive. And if you could just say, "I'll be alive more longer than you," then Neptune said, "Yep, you'll be the next god of sea, and I'll give you my trident since I won't need it. Gods won't kill me if they want to. We'll all be weak. We'll all be giving powers to other people, and I won't be telling the other people's powers." until next part the other people have the other gods powers i won't say it until next part but there will only be the three most powerful gods that i'm saying will be no not three most powerful will be neptune Zeus, jupiter i think and some and it'll be no all of neptune's brothers will have their own champion but they won't be called champions they'll be successors but neptune likes calling him champion instead then Isuku said, Okay, I have agree of becoming your next champion. As then Neptune was happy as he said, Well then, let's let's start giving you a copy of my power. As he tapped Isuku's forehead with a, two of his fingers, putting his hand turning it into water. As he tapped Isuku, Isuku's bo Isuku's forehead, his body started to change. It started to grow. It started to grow taller. He grew a good amount of six point three feet taller. His hair went white and black, the same as the picture you see on the screen. His hair went white and black, that way. And I might be using this picture for another what if, but we won't see that for until I make two more goddess that I, two more new what ifs that I have to create. Then his hair went white. His eyes went gray. His skin grew a bit more lighter, like the like the thing you see on the screen, and he has black under his hair, like the thing you see on the screen. That's how. That is Isuku. As Neptune was confused, he thought his hair was gonna go fully white. His eyes were gonna go. All the rest was like Neptune expected, but his hair was different. As he was like, hmm, maybe it's because he might grow power more powerful than me. And when and when Neptune said that said that he was correct, he is gonna grow more powerful than Neptune. I am literally making him have an ability since Neptune has absolute control over water and the weather. When it all the water that is floating on top of us, I am gonna give a science lesson right now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. With me, uh, yeah, technically I'm doing like the power that is when Isuku has absolute control over water, all the water that is floating in front of us that nobody can see right now he is able to control it and if he wants to teleport he'll just since Neptune has the ability to teleport in inside of water he will be able to turn himself into little tiny pieces of water and reform himself inside of another place when if he wants to but nobody will be able to see where he goes until he reforms himself so yeah, it's more like that. So we continue. Isuku looked at himself and said, Huh. I might as well just act like my real self, not act like someone else. Then Neptune heard his tone and was like, This is the real you or that other childish people? That other childish kid. As Neptune said, Yep, this is the real me. I am... I am more cold and nah, not like to talk with people. Nobody actually treats me right, so thank you for being the thank you for being there for me, old man. As Neptune got a heart warming had a had a heart warm from the words that when when Isuku said old man to Neptune, he was a bit happy. But he still did Isuku still didn't feel like Jesus. 
Oh god. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Neptune still didn't feel like Izuku was being on a swimper. He'll get a hang of Izuku. As then Neptune said, Alright, we're gonna first train on your first ability. And it's right, right. You have to wait ten months for your before you can join the UA, right? And Izuku nodded and said, It's gonna be my second year. So and this one I am giving Izuku my mentality, so Get ready, you're gonna be seeing a lot of not giving two craps about who it is, of who you are, who you came who you came from, who's your family. He will not care because that's how I am. I won't really care what what you are. If you're a god, you're a demon, you're an angel. You die in my in front of me and I won't care. I I would I would care, but there's no point of caring. You're a god or a demon. You have life. I'm gonna sooner or later. Sooner or later, I sooner or later I'll die. That's the mentality that that Izuku will get. So yeah. Then Izuku said, "What power are we training on first? Getting confused as Neptune gave him a smirk. So this is the first time Izuku has ever has ever heard of God powers as Neptune said." We're gonna be training on your teleportation underwater. As Izuku was a bit shocked, but he just kept a calm expression and said, Teleportation, huh? And, and Izuku said, pointing out the water. I have to be out there, right? And I have to nod it and said, And said, Aren't you scared? And Izuku says, You're a god of sea. I might as well have the ability to breathe underwater, right? Then Neptune nodded and was saying on his side, This kid is colder than people f than he he was meant to be. But well, at least he has the guts to do something. Okay, my phone is almost about to die. I need this to make this video longer, so Charger to the rescue. Okay, thank you, Charger. <laughs> then a few seconds later, Isuku just said, Okay. Let's play. Then he pushed Neptune to the water and saw that he was breathing normally. As Isuku just said, ah, Give me a break. He just jumped into the water and started to see that he was floating like a regular fish. Then he started to look around and his eyesight was good. As Isuku smiles and said, Oh, now nah, I'm going to be having some fun with this. He started to float around and then he got faster and faster and faster. As Isuku said, hmm, this reminds me of someone. Let me think of who. Hmm, I don't really remember who, but let's, I'm gonna come. As Isuku just went back and pushed himself. As he was going so fast that not even the, not even the, mm, let's say, not even the sharks that were around uh, Neptune's castle could see him. As Neptune was following him, like following him like he was a fly no like he was a rabbit but for an ordinary humans they can't follow him only the people that can that can actually fight above only other gods that chose their champions will be able to see will be able to see Izuku but nobody no ordinary humans will be able to see them as Izuku just say hey Neptune or Hey, old man, what, what is this ability called? Then Neptune said, you're just swimming. That's not an ability. And you see, you're breathing underwater. As Neptune laughed at Isuku and said, oh, dang it. I haven't even noticed that. As he went back to where Neptune said, and said, what are we training on first? As Neptune said, this. As he turned himself into water and not being able to be seen by Isuku. As Isuku said, oh, you Damn it, old man. As Isuku just checked check through his mind and saw a, some, something said, Relax your body and think like water. As Isuku closes his eyes and thinks like water. And then his body just disappeared. The sharks couldn't see him or the guards of the castle couldn't see him. As Isuku found Neptune and said, 
Oh, you old man, I'm about to, I'm about to end you one day. Then he's, then Neptune says, that'll be in another 10 years. And Isuku said, don't worry. Yo, I'll come and fight you one day. As Neptune said, we'll see. We'll see, young man, we'll see. Then Neptune said, we're going to teleport to your, to the beach where you came from. And we're going to be training there. Then Isuku was like, okay, so how do we do that? Like this, just step forward and follow me. As he, as Neptune step and he disappear. Then Isuku did the same and he disappeared, following Neptune. As Neptune was just sitting down in the water and was like looking at Isuku and said, So this is what we call the teleportation. And this in my version in my version of teleportation. You're able to teleport through water at any way. If we, if you master it enough, you'll be able to teleport through even tiny, tiny bits of water that are floating on the outside, that are floating in the outer world. As Izuku just said, got it. Then they reached the beach, and when Izuku and Neptune got out, they were both reformed back to their normal body. Even their clothes that they're wearing wasn't wet. Then. Isuku said, so this is what happens with our body. Then Neptune said, first, I'm going to tell you something about my power. Once you have my power, your body becomes pure water. So when, you, so when, so, so when someone tries to blow your bo a body part of yours off, you'll just, be, you'll just fake your, you'll just be regenerating in, in one second. But if you keep blowing off your body parts, you can regenerate in like at least me meter seconds or faster than that. As Isuku said, okay, let's test that out. Then Isuku told Neptune to get his trident and start attacking Neptune. And start attacking Isuku. And start attacking him. As Neptune said, are you sure? This will hurt because the trident can hurt you. Then Isuku said, do it. Then his trident... Then Neptune attacked Isuku with the trident, a full, a full blown attack, as he hit Isuku. And it broke his head off, making him melt to water. They kept doing this for at least one day. The next day, they kept, they kept doing it. And uh, at the end, of the end of the day, Isuku has the regeneration faster than Neptune. That's not too much like a smart idea. No, your regeneration is faster than me. As Isuku said, not that much faster, but it's faster enough to heal me with, within a killer, within a killer second, more faster than flash regeneration. Then Neptune was like, "Huh? I imagine when you face off against Zeus, champion, or the play person who will take Zeus' throne, who will win against their regeneration?" Then Isuku says, "My regeneration will just get better." Then Neptune says, good point. So now we're going to be training on, give me a second, I will get the abilities that, that I had to literally write, because there's an amount of abilities that Neptune could have that no one has discovered yet. So a lot of abilities are really, most of people think some, not even, somebody that wish to become a god could ever have. So they worked on Isuku's anger because if Isuku gets angry enough, he can literally cause earthquakes. And when I mean earthquakes, and then when I mean earthquakes, you can make, he can, I'm making him be like able to have a choice of where he can crack the world. Since the world is mostly built out of water, he can literally decide to crack the world if he wants to. As Neptune said, Okay, crack the ocean into a line where they're standing. As Isuku said, are you sure? How am I going to put it back together? Then Neptune said, one way. Just slam your two hands together. As Isuku just said, got it. He got it. He thinks about angry thoughts. As he pointed to the middle of the ocean with only one finger and a crack appeared. As a big crack. Making the ocean be ripped apart. As Neptune jaw dropped and said, It took me 
both hands just to crack the ocean. And it took me another hundred years just to land it like this. What are you kidding? And Isuku said, I'm an ordinary human. No longer human. I'm just a de demigod. Then Neptu just said, ah, What's the point of bothering him? Then Isuku and Neptune. Then Neptune showed Isuku how to control the water and water, how to manipulate into items, or to bring things into ah, uh, to bring things into the outer, outer grounds. Then is then Neptune showed them, as Neptune controlled the water, making a spear out of water, and threw it out the other side of the world, coming back. Then Isuku made. A fork. As Neptune laughed and said, <laughs> You still don't have the control to make this. And Nisuku said, Oh, shut up. I'll show you. As he got angry, the water made a spear. A spear. And Nisuku just threw it to the other side of the world, sending it flying at maximum speed. Then Neptune looked at Nisuku and said, You think I should not come back? Nisuku said, Just wait. Then Izuku put his hand up, the then it came back and Izuku said, Now nah, who's slow, old man? Uh, then a few moments later, Neptune couldn't even speak. Because he got angry and the trident no and the spear that he created was more powerful than his trident. Then Neptune said, Okay, you win. So now let's work on you making a trident. Then Isuku made a trident with all the force of his anger that he combined with his hand, making a trident. As Neptune said, Wow, that trident looks exactly like mine. Then Isuku said, I read a lot of mytho a mythological mythological creek gods. So I know a lot about your trident. So I just put the detail into my mind and then shade him to that. Oh, I can even make this. As Izuku just made a sword. A sword hard enough to break through a rock. As he slashed through a rock. And it broke. Then Neptune said, good. Now, work on trying to bring animals to the outer world. Then Izuku saw a turtle. As he, f as he waved his hand up with the water making a circle. Then Izuku saw the turtle and started to push it around. As the turtle kept playing with Izuku. Then Izuku said, well, time to go with your family. As he's, when Izuku was trying to locate the family of the turtle, his eyes went blue. A light, light blue. And when he found them, he was look, searching to the ocean. As he saw them, and was like, huh, they're, they're over there. Izuku just threw the turtle with it, just waving his hand as the turtle arrived with his other family members. And Izuku smiled and said, It's always good to see someone with their mom and dad. Then he remembered his mom. As he was sad. He wanted to cry, but then Neptune stopped it before it could happen. And said, Wow, now you have the perfect vision too. Good. Now, let's see if you can find my trident. I forgot it somewhere. <laughs> but Nep Neptune was faking it. He literally had it on... His castle. Then Izuku said, "I'm gonna go check your castle." As Izuku made, as Izuku's eyes started to glow blue, and he said, "It's in your castle and your throne. Don't worry, your guards are, your guards are guarding it." Then he then up to say, "How do you know that?" And Izuku said, "You're easy to read thoughts. Don't be like, don't start acting like you're not easy." Then Neptun just said, "Ah, oh, you got me." And that's what saying on his head. Oh, this kid is going to be much easier than I thought to train. So we're going to go to the next ability that a god gave him. Neptune decided to make a hurricane and a turn and uh, let's say a thunderstorm to attack Izuku. The hurricane was first. Izuku was literally able to withstand it. He was like, is this all you got? This is weak. When Izuku was like, well, in the middle of the hurricane and the thunderstorm, it, all the attacks were going straight at him. 
Body Suku was just there, like, oh, uh, just like a, a a glow started to appear in front of Isuku. And his eyes went blue, making the storm not wanting to hit him. As Isuku said, well, I have to get used to these eyes as he just made them more blue, making the storm stop. Then Neptune said, now he knows how to cancel the storm. Then Neptune said, again, another storm appear and another hurricane. Hisuku just used maximum power, canceling everything. <laughs> and next one would be to learn how to create thunderstorms and hurricanes. And with his eyes, he can literally clear the skies. So there's no point of him using hands. He has eyes now. Then Isuku, then Isuku learned how to create thunderstorms and hurricanes. But but then Neptune said to create small ones because he doesn't want to destroy this whole beach. As Isuku nodded and created a small storm, making small clouds appear, and and then he pointed at rocks, and the rock broke. Then Isuku just made the storm bigger to it can appear in front of him and Neptune. As Isuku the said teleport. As his body turned into tiny, 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 tiny drops of water. Then Neptune said, hey, what are you doing? Don't do that. Then he disappeared and reappeared on top, top of a building. As Neptune had to use his vision and saw Isuku over there on the top of a building. As Isuku just turned into tiny droplets of water and went back to where Neptune is. As Neptune said, so you have made the the teleportation much better? As Isuku said, yep, I have improved it. Then, then Neptune said, okay, now we're going to go somewhere far away so we can make your hurricane bigger and your thunderstorm bigger. We're going to use it a... Uh, 50%. Let's see how big it is. As they teleport both of them to a deserted island. As Hisuku made his hurricane uh, 50%, which the local news was able to locate. And Thunderstorm, the no local news was able to locate to was bigger than Neptune at 50%. And ne as Neptune was like, what? Oh, this kid is going to be the end of me. That Neptune said, deactivate it. As, Nep as Isuku's eyes went blue, as they deactivate, as Neptune and, I and then Isuku says, "Well, let's go back to the place that we were before." And as they all, as they both teleported back to where they were at, Isuku was kind of overpowered now. And this is going to be my second tooth. Wait a minute, no. If I'm wrong. My, this is going to be my, my Gojo, not my Soul King had a character de development, no. Gojo, uh, Ami King, Cobra, and this one, this, are, this is going to be my fifth overpowered thing. He doesn't even have character development, <laughs> I just made him overpower. Then Isuku said, okay. Now, are those all the abilities, or you have one more? Then, Neptune said, I have one more that I can teach you. It is how, it's how to summon the ocean without you being far, without you being even close to it. And Shizuku said, what do you mean? And Neptune said, teleport to that building and try to summon the ocean. As Shizuku teleport to that building. And summon the ocean as he started to flow. A puddle, a puddle of water created under him as he was floating in the sky. Isuku said, wow, I can fly now. Then Neptune said, yep. But this ability, I can't not use it. You can only. And Isuku said, okay. I only use this ability when I get tired of walking. And Neptune said, okay. So, it has been nine months. So... The last month, guys, the all the time that I spent talking, they've been skipping nine months. <laughs> you see what I mean? No character development. So this is an overpower series, like one shot. 
I'm not making this a one shot. I'm continuing it. Mm. I literally like Neptune and I like mythological creeks, so I'm not doing it. Mythological deity creeks, so I'm not doing that. I'm continuing this to the overhaul arc. That's all. So, yeah, we're gonna make part two of this is coming tomorrow. I don't care. I'm making part two. So, yeah. Uh, Itsuku just. Itsuku, the, this was the last day before the 10th month. Neptune said, Well, kid, it's time for me to go back with the other gods to find out how their new. How are their new champions like you? But one thing, and this is only one thing. You ha. Now you're finally able to have my trident. As the trident that you see on the background is the one Izuku has. Which technically when Izuku throws it at someone, that thing literally lights fire. I do not care what people say, that thing lights on fire. So you won't want to be in the middle of it when it hits you. I see. Neptune gave Izuku his trident and then left to the other world with the gods. Then we go back to the gods. Neptune was walking into Olympus, Olympics. Then he said, well, brothers and sisters, I already trained my champion. And Sue speak, speaked up first and said, well, good job, brother. Now that you have trained him well enough, we might as well have a competition to see which champion is powerful enough. As Zeus said in his head, oh God, if these kids, if these people have not been watching me, they are going to be doomed if they meet my champion. He literally mastered my powers in only three days. In only three days. No, not three days. In only nine months. As, no, let's say, I'm going to say that. Yeah, in only nine months. But for rea for actuality, it was only three days. Because they were training in Olympics and sometimes they trained on the other outside world. I forgot to explain that they were on the ocean of Olympics. So, <laughs> Izuku actually met the gods. No, he didn't met them. I'm kidding. I'm not planning on making him meet them yet. So, yeah. Izuku has... Jesus? I forgot where I left my... Other series. So yeah, Izuku has met the... Has only met Neptune's castle and his guardians, that's all. But they were only training on the Olympics, on their Olympics play, place, the Olympics. But they didn't know they were actually training at the Olympics. So... They didn't know. So, Izuku didn't know that he was training in the Olympics, so Zeus and the other guard and the other gods didn't even see him. So when his their guardians meet them, ooh, ah, I might as well say this. Zeus sh should have chosen Izuku, but for him having too much pride, <laughs> for him having too much pride on the kid that he chose, which is his own son. I'm gonna say it again. It's his own son. Like I said, his own son. Keep it in mind. Since it's his own son, it's only it's only gonna be if it's ten if it's a uh so yeah. Since his own son is gonna be a half demigod and Isuku has a copy of uh uh, Neptune's power. He literally is a god, not a de not a demi. He's an actual god. He just doesn't act like one because because Neptune hasn't died yet. And when you hear the word "yet," I mean yet. On the over when I reach the overhaul arc, Neptune is gonna give up his place because he's getting tired of being up there. So Isuko's gonna leave you way. I. Once we reach the overhaul arc, and and someone special is going is gonna, is gonna be adopted at the overhaul arc, just gonna spoil that bit and that's all. So yeah, Isuku said was sad that Zeus that Neptune had to leave. 
keep uh, yeah, to keep moving on. Now we skip to the UA entrance exam. Isuku was just walking towards UA. All the boys and girls were looking at him and were like shock. Who is this white haired kid? Who is he? As all the girls were blushing at him, all the boys were jealous a bit of him. <laughs> I'm gonna pause real quick. Sorry about that guys, I got my brother asking me for help, so I told him that I'll do it when I'm when I finish. So all the girls were looking at him with with lust lustful <coughs> looks. And like I said in the beginning, whoever picks a ship. I'll gladly make that the ship. Just pick one. Or I might as well make a, a goddess from Olympics come to the earth and be with Yusuku. That's all I'm going to say. Or Zeus can have, or Neptune can have a daughter that would like to be with Yusuku. It's your God, it's you guys' choices. So comment down below if you want Neptune to have a daughter. Or some, or one a, a one a girl or a one B girl. From any other classroom can be his ship if you guys want to. So that's all. Isuku just kept focusing on finishing first place to make to make Neptune proud because he knew Neptune was watching him. So he just wanted to make Neptune proud. And in this one, Isuku has the same strength as Aquaman. So when I mean same strength, he can punch a robot with only his bare fists. <laughs> So he has more strength than, than Aquaman himself. So yeah. Neptune was saying, he's like, come on, Isuku, you can do this. Then Isuku, then it was first the written exam. When Isuku sat down, he sat down to Bak with he sat down next to Bakugo just like in the anime. Nothing will change there. I don't have anyone yet for him. As uh, and then Isuku was in. Then Isuku just looked at the paper, and his eyes went blue. And then just got up and went to pressing the mic. As pressing the mic was shocked. Hey, how did you finish this test without even looking at it? And Isuku says, <coughs> "I did look at it, and I finished it. Look." As pressing the mic, saw all the questions answer. And he said, but how do you do that? As Isuku said, that's, that's for me to know and for you to find out. <coughs> then he left. Isuku <coughs> just went and waited in the teacher's, teacher's, lounge because, teacher's lounge because that's where President Mike told him to wait at since he was finished first. Then President Mike Nesu came in and said, well, hey, kid. This is Principal Nesu. Then Isuku said, well, hello there, Principal Nesu. Then Principal Nesu said, by any chance, are you Isuku Midoriya? Then, he, then Isuku looked at him and said, yep, I'm Isuku. That's why I'm here for my second year. As Nesu said, oh, okay, I understand. So what happened to you? I unlocked my quirk after you know what happened. Because All Might told Nesu that he took Isuku. One for all back. Then Nessu said, okay. So, what's your quirk? If you guys... He, then Isuku says... Pressing them, then Isuku said to President Mike to leave. So President Mike did what he says and said to Nessu, My quirk is called Neptune. So, it gives me control over the ocean and... Everything else that the Creek God Neptune has, I have it. Even Super Shrink. So, if you see Super Shrink, tell All Might not to think of all for one. He's just gonna be a stupid, a stupid bastard if he thinks that's all for one. Not even all for one would be able to touch his power if he wanted it to. As Net, as press, as Nessu said, okay. So thank you for let, thank you for having this little chat with me, Isuku Midoriya, right? Then Isuku says, no, I'm Isuku Neptune, or Isuku the God of the Sea. That's all you have to call me. No, not. And this one, Isuku loves his mother, so what the heck am I doing? Ah, oh, yes, what am I doing with this? His name, then Isuku says, Yeah, yeah, Isuku Midoriya. <coughs> I will be leaving. I think everyone else is done. 
Well, we shall meet each other again, Nessa. Or, President Nessa. As she took left with President Mike. Now it was the... Now it was the fight with the robots with the points. Da -da -da -da. And to say one more thing, in this one, where Rucker was dating Isuku, but she cheated on him with Bakugo when she found out that Isuku was actually a, a useless, worthless person. Just to add that in, this is not going to be a cheated on. I am not, pl I'm pl maybe planning on making a cheated on, but I'm not. That might be in the near future. Maybe a bit more far away, but near future. Then Isuku saw Ochako Uraraka, Toro Roki, Momo Yagarosu, and Ida himself, the loudmouth brat spoiler brat kid. And, and I do not like Uraraka and, Bak and Bakugo and Ida. The three people that I will never want to see with. With Isuku and the anime. I really don't like them. I'm sorry for those people that like those three people. But I really don't like them. <laughs> then Isuku was saying and said, Oh, this is going to be fun. Just showing a calm expression. As Neptune and, his, and the Olympics was saying, Come on, Isuku. Show the gods what you're made of. As Isuku had a feeling... Someone was saying to show off a bit. As Isuku said, yes sir, I will. Then Ida saw Isuku walking. Then he said, you, what are you going to do to that girl? You're going to just make her chances of joining you wait again lower. Then Isuku says, and Isuku gave him an angry stare. The same stare you see on the screen, that stare, Isuku literally gave it to him. That almost feel like he was gonna die. As Izuku says, why in a million years would I talk to that freaking girl? And Ira says, that's not the language to speak to your friend, to speak to your, to your other teammates. As Izuku says, they are my teammates. They are just worthless people. As Ira just was about to say something, but Izuku slapped his hand away. And disappear. Before Ida could even say anything, he saw that Isuku disappear in a splash of water. And Ida said, Is that his quirk? And he reappeared in, fr in the front. As President Mike saw something reform, and it was Isuku. As Isuku smiled, President Mike and said, Well, are we starting? Then President Mike said, Ready, set, boom, Isuku disappeared and reappeared running. Just punching the robots left to right, left right. Just imagine. Hmm, I wanna. Let me think. Who was who was an anime character that was punching left and right? Uh, if you guys can imagine Mod, the Madara versus the Shinobi Alliance fight, just imagine that, just with punches. Yep, yeah, that. As Isuku was just punching all the robots, breaking them all, as he got first place with a good amount of 500 points. Then all the gods in the Olympics were, were impressed with the person that, Zeus, that Neptune picked. And Neptune was like saying, yes, keep going Isuku. As Isuku just summoned the trident and started to, and started to make it glow in red, red. And red fire, the same fire that you see where the name of the water is at, that fire. As Isuku started to slash left, right, left and right. All the robots were getting killed. As Isuku just then said, huh. The zero pointer should be coming out at any time. As Isuku made his eyes go blue. And saw where where the last zero pointer was not where the last year zero pointer came from, and said, "Hmm, let me go to a higher building." And while Isuku was slashing with the trident, he, he had got a good amount of seven hundred points. So he knew nobody will catch up to him. So he decided to just rest a building. As the camera that were watching all the students saw Isuku melt into water and reappear on top of a building. As All Might knew who this was and said, we're all for one. 
as Nessu said, Oh my, for thinking all for one. Isuku literally said to me that he unlocked his quirk. So if you're gonna be stupid enough to think that he is working for all for one, all for one can't touch him. All for one is the person that killed his mother. So why would he want to be with him? As all my said, oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, Nessu, who told you that? Then he, then he pointed at the white haired kid and said, that's Isuku Midoriya. You can't be saying that he was working for All For One. Does he look like a person who want to work for All For One? With his own mother killed by him. As All Might started to think and said, no. Then person, then Nestle said, All Might, you should be ashamed of yourself. You shouldn't do that to a kid. Then All Might said, I know. Then we come back to Isuku. As Nestle said, well, time to give this kid a harder challenge, or to just get the real heroes. As Nessu at least summon six zero pointers at the area where Bakugo, Toroki, and Iran Ochako Uraraka were at. I really want, I really want to kill Uraraka off, but <coughs> if I do it, we'll make this series more interesting with me, with. Him and the ship that um, might be picking the comments. I want that series to be more interesting with those two in it. <laughs> but still, I am planning on killing off Uraraka sooner or later. So, Isuku just said, Huh. Let's play hide and go seek. As Isuku disappear, reappear in another building, then he reappear in another building. As Isuku just summoned the trident. And he did the same thing that Sun Jin Woo did on the anime. He put a lot of force on the attack on the arm that he was holding the trident and threw it straight off the first zero pointer. Then the trident started to glow red. And it was a, a, a lot of power into that attack as it killed off, as it killed the zero pointer. And then he took out that a lot of rumble of the, of the buildings that were killed by, that were destroyed by the zero pointers were going down. And Isuku just put his hand up, making wave from the under the wall, under the ground of the cities. We're coming up, protecting everyone. As Isuku just said, "I'm not being, a, I'm not trying, planning to be me." As Isuku squished his hand, creating, making the all the water turn into giant hands. As he started to, as he started to punch the air, the giant hands. Got into a fighting stand and just when Isuku punched the air, it punched a robot. It then punched the robot to the other side. It grabbed them, squished them, sent them to outer space. And then Isuku summoned the trident and threw it up, making the syrup, one of the zero pointers get exploded. As Isuku grabbed the trident, the, the trident came back with Isuku just tapping on the ground. One. Tapping on the ground three times. One, two, three. And then at least seven tridents made out of water appear with Isuku pointing at the zero pointers. And they all exploded, making everyone shocked and asked, Nessu, what's his quirk? As he said, the mythological creek god's power, Neptune. When they heard that and said, that's a myth, not that. That's a myth. Nobody could have his powers. Then you see you see that trident. That's the original trident. Even with even I, the smartest being in this world, knows that that's the real one. As All Might was having second thoughts of his of picking his the successor. Because over the ten months, Mira has been having problems with his first quirk. One for all. He has a good amount. I'm not planning on being mean to Miro. He's one of the... I wish Miro would have been Isuku's friend instead of Ida. Because who is dumb enough to go after Stay the hero killer? Doesn't his name make sense to you? Hero killer. Then, i still saying, nobody should be dumb enough to go after a hero killer. Hito killer. The name... Still, I don't blame the creator. It's a good anime. So, two seconds later, Isuku was like, 
Uh, I might as well just fall asleep. Uh, and yes, if you guys are wondering what he's wearing, same thing on the uh, the same thing that you see on the screen. He's wearing that. Ida, Todoroki, Bakugo, and Ochako Uraraka were saved by Isuku, the next god of seed. All the teachers wanted to summon another zero pointer, but a, a one that Nesu created, one that is twenty times pow more powerful than all, all of the teachers, as Isuku said. Huh, this might be some fun. Isuku summoned the trident and started to flow, and said, "Now let's play, you big, you big. Mm, I don't know what to say, you big beast." Then Isuku just. Grab the trident, sm put water into it, making it go so big that he had to hold it with both hands, and literally one shot the the ultimate zero pointer and slash one time through it, protecting everybody, making water shields on top of them. As he could just melt himself and appear on top of the on top of the building that he was sitting. As he said, ah, that was fun. Now, who's next? Making his eyes go blue. While he was looking at the sky, his eyes went blue and said, Who's next, Zeus? Giving Zeus a smile. As Zeus felt a shiver going through his, th going through his spine and said, This kid might be the end of my champion. But I think he can beat him. Let's see what's going to be the outcome. Then Neptune looked at Zeus and said, That is the next god of sea for you. Then all the other Olympics members or the other Creek gods were a bit scared of a, a bit scared of ne uh, Neptune's champion or successor. But they believe in theirs. As if you could stop looking at the sky and made and made a, a floating pat on his on the bottom of his feet with water and just flew off because the test was already over as president Mike was saying thank you everyone for coming to our exam if you guys want to join another if you guys want to become heroes there's always heroes to be needed on other schools so try your best and joining other schools i don't really know how to do president mike boy so don't don't be mad at me <laughs> I can't do his voice correctly, so I can't be getting so people can't be getting mad at me. Then Isuku left. That's all my was like I need to speak with that young man again. <coughs> then a few moments later Isuku was at home. He went to the house that he and Inko used to live in the anime. Yes, I mean he still lives in that home. When Isuku went, the house was all dirty, as he said, time to clean it. As Isuku just grabbed everything with one water wave and put it into, grabbed everything that was garbage and put it into one hand, crushed it all, and threw it into the garbage can. As he then used water, swished it over the house, and the house was clean. The water didn't make the, water, the house go soaky. Izuku control it enough to just make it clean off every spa. As Izuku said, that's better. Now it's time to fix everything. As Izuku spent the whole day fixing the house and said, now this is how mom would like it. As Izuku decided to make sushi for, for dinner since he was hungry. As he ate for sushi and went to bed. The, we skipped two weeks, Izuku, no not two weeks, the next day. Izuku was first to get his letter. And when I mean first, I mean like he got the special treatment for having a quirk old Neptune <laughs> and for getting first place, beating All Might's record too. As Isuku got the letter, opened it up and saw Nessu. As Nessu said, congratulations young man. Or sh should I say, S or should I send uh, Isuku sama And, and Isuku smiled at him and said, okay. So you have made it to you have made it to your your hero academia, and you have passed for you have made you have passed first place on even beating All Might's record on both the tests, 
and you are getting special permission. That means he's gonna be getting a scholarship. A scholarship, but instead of being like, uh, like one of those tags that they have your name, Izuku will be getting a wristband. As Izuku checked the letter and saw a wristband. Then, then a few moments later, Nesu said, "And one more thing, Izuku Sama, you'll be getting a wristband that says that will allow you to be, allow you to go to any." Any permission of other places in UA that only third years and second years are allowed, but you'll have more abilities yeah. to go anywhere. And I'm sorry if you guys heard. I'm sorry if you guys heard that sound. That was just my brother. I'm sorry to say that. Then, then Isuku just when he saw all my, all my said, "Congratulations, young Midoriya. Welcome to your hero academia." And may I speak to Isuku just made his hand go into water and cracked it apart. And this was live. <laughs> to make it more worse, this was live. It was broadcast because this was a student that got first place destroying everything with only water control and had it and had it the power of unquirk named Neptune. So this was history we made it. History be reanimated. Re reanimated, but Izuku being the heartless person that I told you guys who he is already, he has my mentality, so that's why he has being he has a cold a cold mindscape. And I might as well set this on one uh, another YouTuber's what if his name was Lotus Lotus what if somebody asked him that he was if. He wished that he had a, the the YouTuber's mindscape, and I told him the only way to act like him is that if you have a cold mindscape. Uh, I'm gonna say these two things. When I was younger, I was able to see sh deaf people that that die in my family, or when I or when I saw movies, it just brought people that die from other times, people that were getting beaten brutally, people that were getting Raped, I think. Yeah, raped. But it mostly was when... Mostly was people that died in my family I was able to see. So, he Izuku has technically that type of mentality. So, he's technically cold, but he's nice to the people that he wants to be nice. As Nessa said, well, oh my, that's what you get for betraying your student. Now, enjoy life with him here. As Nessa was saying, oh, you're gonna have a hard time. Then we skip to the first day of school. Isuku came walking in class into class. Let it, walking into class making everyone wonder who he is. And when they looked at him correctly, I bet and then I and all of them said in their head, I bet to you this is Isuku Midoriya. Then he sat on his seat and said, "Oh, Isuku Midoriya." And when they remember what he did on the entrance exam and say, This freaking bastard, how did he get so strong? Uh, Mr. Aisawas came and said, Okay, everyone, shut the hell up. Now, we, ha we have an old student coming back. Say your name. As Isuku got up and said, Isuku Madoria, mm, Quirk Neptune. As Isuku sat down, Mr. Aizawa said, okay, everyone, we'll be having the, we'll be having, wait, let me change my voice. Okay, everyone, we'll be having the quirk examination once again. So, get in your PE uniform. Cliffhanger. <laughs> well, bye, everyone. This is a 668 subscriber special. Well, bye.